Hi guys, this is Francine Carrillo Walters with Walters Asset Protection and Mortgage. Today we're going to talk about the four types of life insurance. And we're going to start with the first type that I like to refer to as mortgage protection. That's your term life policy. We also refer to this as the Camry because the Camry gets you where you need to go, right? Not real fancy, but it gets you where you need to go. And so your basic term life policy can be a 20 year term, a 10 year term, a 15 year term. Usually if somebody just got a 30 year mortgage, I like to recommend a 30 year term because that's going to cover them for their 30 year mortgage, right? If you have a 15 year mortgage, then you might want a 15 year term. So it just depends on where you are in life and what you need, right? So we've got a 30 year term. Let's say you buy this when you're 35. So that term would end when you are 65. So we have a death benefit with this term policy. Let's say that's 500,000 to cover mortgage and some other expenses for your family. Now, what would this cost you? Approximately for somebody in their 30s, it would cost anywhere from 40 to $50 a month. Okay? So, one thing we like to pride ourselves in is that our life insurance, we like to choose a life insurance with living benefits as well. What are living benefits? Living benefits are if you have a chronic or a critical illness, you will have an advance of this death benefit. So let's say you're driving to work, everything's great, right? You just get into this bad accident and now you have head trauma and you have to be hospitalized and can't go back to work for three months. Well, some might say, Francine, I have disability insurance. I don't need that. Disability insurance, don't forget, takes 90 days to kick in. So what happens for those three months? You get an advance of this death benefit while you're still alive. And that death benefit will help you cover your mortgage, your living expenses, your electric for food, water, the things that you need while you can't work so that you don't get behind on your mortgage. So this is really important. Now, chronic illness is things where you need a nurse, dementia, Alzheimer's. There's a long list here that each policy is going to cover different things. So we will read the different things based on what your concerns are. Critical illness, heart attacks, cancer, stroke, things of that nature. Um, again, the list goes on and on, and we have to read your individual policy. Now, we have many different carriers, and they all vary in what they cover. So we would look at what you're interested in, and then that's how we would choose our carriers. So they cover death benefit, living benefit. Now, you know, I always like to tell you about the pros and the cons of every product because every product has pros and cons. There's no perfect product. So the pros, you have death benefit, living benefit. This is the most cost effective plan. You're protecting yourself. If you have a critical or chronic illness, but you're also protecting your family in the event that you pass away and they still have a mortgage so that they won't lose their home and they'll have money for expenses to get them through that time. So those are the pros. Who uses this? What is this good for? This is good for mortgage protection. This is good for buy-sell agreements with business partners to help protect your business um, and a variety of other things. So just depending on what your goals are, this might be the plan for you. Now, what are the cons? The cons are that it ends. It ends. If this was your plan and you, when you turn 66, you're no longer covered, right? And so the older you are when you're buying a term policy, the more expensive it gets, okay? So at this point, you have to reapply and hope you get approved. Sometimes 
you might not get approved if you have different health conditions that might prevent you from getting approved or the cost is going to be a lot higher, okay? So the sooner you get this, the better, right? Um, so those are the pros and the cons. Now there's one thing that's really important that you cannot have with your employer, but you can have if you have your own policy. That big thing is called a return of premium rider. Now what that means is that every dime, every dime you paid in for your premiums gets returned to you when the term ends. All of your money back. So it's like a savings account. There's no reason not to protect your family. At worst, you're forced to save money if we add the return of premium rider and you get all of your money back when the policy term ends. So that's the Camry basic mortgage protection plan. And the next video, I'm gonna cover one that doesn't end.